Hey guys, welcome back to another tech control video. If you are here for the first time, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Today, I just got a delivery from Apple. We're just gonna unbox it together. It is the 2020 iMac 27 inch from uh, the latest version from Apple that just came out. All right, so we're gonna unbox this thing. I'm gonna put it on the floor because this is pretty big and I'm also pretty tall close to the ceiling, so. All right, so let's go ahead and remove some of the items that are coming in this box. Let's take a look. Alrighty, at the very top you have, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that this is the keyboard. So let's put that there for a second. Let's see what else we got. Uh, I think that's it, otherwise, otherwise, yeah, it's the, uh, the, the computer, the screen. So let's see what we got here. I wonder if everything, the mouse, the keyboard, I actually did an order of mouse with this uh, setup. I ended up getting a, a trackpad so um, I, I also opted for the keyboard with the numeric keypad um, that's key for me I use the numbers a lot so let's go ahead and take this out it's very nice though nice clean look and here is the trackpad 2 I opted for this instead of the magic uh, mouse 2 so that for me will be very useful and it's pretty big. I, I think it's a little bit bigger than what comes in uh, the iMac 16 inch, or maybe it's about the same size. Either way, this will get a lot of use. Let's see what else we got. Just uh, the usual iMac uh, literature. And then we also have a USB-A to USB lightning cable. This is undoubtedly to charge the keyboard and the trackpad. Anything else under here? I think that's it. So let's talk about the uh, the version that I decided to purchase. So we're here at Apple's website and you can already see there's a new 27 inch model iMac. So this is not the version with the new silicon that we're probably gonna get next year, but this very well may be the last Intel based iMac that we get. So right away you'll notice that there is no 21 inch new version. There's only the new version of the 27 inch. The 21 inch did get some upgrades. They actually got rid of the fusion drives and they went with a standard and a minimum of 256 solid state drive. So for the 27 inches, you'll see that they're, the only real difference is between them. They're basically the same computer with slight variations, um, but the further you go, or the more expensive you go, I should say, the more customizable it is. So you start with the 1799 model, six core processor you'll notice that the 199 model also has the same six core processor it's just clocked slightly higher at 3.3 the base model i'm just going to call this the base model middle model and the high model the base model only comes in at 256 which we already saw is the same as the 21 inches the middle and high end models they come in at a minimum of 512 gigabytes for the solid state drive everything else is pretty much the same with the exception of the graphics card on the high end model the base model is a little higher than you would on either of the other two models let's go ahead and real quick let's select the base model and then you'll see that here we don't have many options 
to customize. We have a few. Let's quickly go over them. You have the nano texture glass option. The nano texture glass is the same thing that we've seen on the XDR display. It basically gives you a matte filter on the screen, literally on the screen, and it disperses the light. If you're in a room where there are a lot of light bulbs or a lot of light, you don't like the reflection, you get this. For $500, I personally don't think it's worth it. So we didn't choose this. But again, for you, if you feel that you need this and you have the $500 to spare, go ahead. You can upgrade the RAM. I strongly suggest that you do not upgrade the RAM with Apple. It is highly, highly overpriced. If you guys want, I can leave links in the description uh, where you can purchase them. And then if you want, comment below. Let me know if you want a video showing you how to install them on this iMac. It really takes no more than two minutes. A really quick, really simple. You also have the option for the ethernet. There's now 10 gigabit ethernet. If you don't have a 10 gigabit network at home, which 99.9% .9 of people don't, you don't need this. But if you are someone like, let's say a YouTuber or somebody who deals with big, heavy files, 4K and things like that, and you happen to have a localized storage server, they use an ethernet connection for the 10 gigabit speed. It's just, 10 times faster. So somebody like that would opt for this. It's also great to select for the resale value. That's always something to consider when you're buying a Mac. All right, further down the line, you look, you have the Magic Mouse 2, that's standard. $50 more gets you the trackpad. That's actually what we opted for. For $130, you get the Magic Mouse 2 and the Magic Trackpad 2. So let's go ahead, let's back out. Let's, let's see the, uh, the mid-range model. If we select here, you guys will see that you still have the nano texture glass option, but now we have a processor upgrade option. This is in case you want to upgrade from the six core straight to the 10 core, 500 bucks, not a bad upgrade. Actually from, from a six core i5 to a 10 core i9, that is a pretty big jump. Once again, you got the memory upgrades and now we also have storage options as well. You can upgrade to one terabyte, two terabytes. Whereas before you saw that the only option was 256 solid state. You still have the same options as far as the network. You still have the options for the magic trackpad, the magic mouse, so on and so forth. All right, let's get out of here. Let's show you now the high-end model. With the high-end model, we actually have a few more options. We have the nanotech glass, nothing new by now. And standard on this model is the eight core 10th generation i7. You can upgrade to that same 10 core i9 that we saw in the mid-range model for $400. To me, this really isn't that much of an increase. I think it's something like 17%. I don't know if it justifies a $400 price tag. For that very same reason, we decided not to upgrade. Once again, you got the same memory options. Again, do not upgrade with Apple. If you think you're not technical enough to upgrade this memory, that is not true. Or probably you wouldn't even be watching this channel if you're not interested in tech or are somewhat tech savvy. So I assure you, you can upgrade this memory yourself. But if for whatever reason you feel that you don't want to do it on your own and you want Apple to do it for you, then you have these prices all the way up to $2,600, which is more than the base price of this computer. So, so let's move on to the graphics section and you'll notice that there are now uh, three different options. You have the 5500 XT, you have the 5700, both come with eight gigabytes of dedicated memory. And now you also have the Radeon Pro 5700 XT with 16 gigabytes of dedicated memory. In my opinion, Opinion. If you're using graphically heavy intensive programs like Photoshop or Final Cut Pro, anything editing, especially if you're editing in 4K or green screen behind you and things like that, a lot of transitions, a lot of effects, those tend to use a lot of processing power on your computer. So if you have something like the base 5500 XT, it would be fine, I think. Um, there might be some compromises that you would have to give up here and there. Maybe be a little more patient while you're editing. But I still strongly suggest that if you are one of those people that needs the, the more power in the graphics card, then go straight to the 5700 XT. That's actually what we did. We didn't feel that the 5700 was enough of an upgrade with the eight gigabytes, but for only $200 more, you get double the memory and the XT version of this graphics card. We decided to opt for the one terabyte version. We would have been just fine with the 512 because we actually use external hard drives for 
all of our storage and things like that. 512 is fine. One terabyte for only $200 more really isn't that bad of a deal. The others seem to be getting a bit more up there in price, so we opted to just skip those. And then again, you have the same options as you did before. As far as the keyboard goes, if you want the numeric keyboard option, you can. It comes standard with this keyboard here, just a regular one. But again, for $30 more, we opted to get the one with the numerical pad. You just click here on change. You select uh, further down here, English or your specific language. And there you go, $30 more. So that's pretty much it as far as this unboxing. When it comes to how the computer actually performs, this video will probably be the first one that I actually edit on this machine. So you guys are gonna have to wait until future videos and let me edit a few videos and things like that, work out some Photoshop uh, images and things like that. Let me get back to you. I will do a review in a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, and then I'll let you guys know what type of performance we're getting, whether it was worth it to upgrade. I mean, I'm coming from a MacBook Pro, so this is a big difference as far as, not so much in power, but as far as what type of experience you're getting. Soon I'll have a review on the new Logitech MX Series 3 mouse. This is the Mac version, just recently came out. You can tell by the space gray accents. So make sure to stay tuned, look for that. If you haven't already, hit this big red subscribe button I will have somewhere below down here. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. Make sure to DM us. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them below, DM me directly. Or if you wanna just talk, let's talk games, let's talk tech. Take care.